Hello and welcome to another Pedro Wars in my channel. So we're going to look at... Yeah. If you've seen the title, you probably know. Oh boy. Yeah. Fantastic Score from 2005 versus Fantastic Four 2015. Yes. Today we're going to look at the reboot thing. Yeah. Here. Uh, oh boy. Topic number one are going to be storyline. Storyline isn't that similar, actually. That is kind of weird because, but the the first one is basically that the gang is going to a space station. That we're going to test some, do some research, testing, and so on. Suddenly, a solo player well, basically appears uh, before the initial time they actually thought it would happen, and they all get hit by it, and they get powers because of it. Yeah. Uh, of course, some of them freak out a little bit, uh, but they started to leave with it. They started to think. Uh, Ahead a little, a little bit, they trying to use it for good. It for good, even though they, well, they they basically misfits. Basically, uh, later on the first villain we appear, which is Doctor Doom, and he doesn't like them. Uh, he likes Sue, I think it's called. She is called. Uh, the I don't know, can't remember what they called, but uh, in the invisible girl, invisible girl or anything like that. Uh, it ends with a fight between them, uh, and they basically freeze in Doctor Doom in a well, they melt him in some sort of. I, I can't remember what it is. Is it metal, stone, or something? Well, he basically becomes a statue in the end. And that is basically how they end, but they seek the base a little bit, but he isn't in the next movie, which is this one. He's, he's not in it. Anyway, uh, in Fantastic Four from 2015, the difference here is that they are trying to get to another dimension instead of space. It sounds stupid, <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I haven't read the comics, so I don't know which of these are more accurate. So, but anyway, the, f the first part of the storyline is actually kind of decent. In Fantastic Four 2005, it is decent throughout the movie, but Fantastic Four 2015 actually is better than the 2005 one in the start of the movie. Where it basically based off the characters. A little bit, even though the love triangle or speaks a little bit forced between the Sue, the Doom, or Doom, and the Elastic Man. I don't know. I can't their names. Sorry. Uh, basically, but they go, they go to the dimension without permission. Basically, something bad happens, and they all get powers. Uh, the thing about this movie is that they show basically how they get the powers, basically. One is basically burning alive. Scary. <laughs> one is getting stones at him. Uh, one of them's legs are stretched out. And the blonde Sue girl gets hit by a wave. The Doom character basically just falls down a cliff into a green mass. After that, they are basically instituted, and the elastic man or guy uh, escapes. He says that he should will come back and help them, but he, after one year, he hasn't come back yet. I think it was one year. Uh, and this, that, this is now the movie starts to become really bad. Uh, of course, the training, they find the elastic guy, they try. They go catch him, then they f they go back, uh, not the main characters, but they send a group of NASA people, I think it was, 
to this the other dimension, they find Doom again, and take him back. He basically gets mad, kill everyone, kill the main guy's dad. They go to the dimension, and that there they find a fight is in the second in the other dimension. Uh, which is kind of weird. I don't really like it, but anyway, and they basically kill Doctor Doom. And that is how the movie ends. Uh, well, it doesn't end like that. They basically end with, what shall we call ourselves? And they basically say, Fantastic Four. Interesting. As I said, the 2005 one has a good start, but after a while, I think in the middle or something before that, it just stops and dives. When it comes to storyline, because it just gets silly, it just gets stupid, it just feels like they fall. It felt really bad, basically. But that is four from 2005, basically have a coherent story. They, they followed the storyline they had. They don't change a lot. Uh, sometimes they change a little bit, but not that much that they. It feels bad or anything, it just feels like they actually have a great structure. So, because of that, the winner of this topic is going to be Fantasy 4 for 2005. Topic number 2 are going to be um, Effects and Environments. Uh, in 2005, they have more of these uh, practical effects, basically. They have more. Uh, suits, they have more structures and everything, but in the 2015 they have more CGI, and that shows a lot because it is shinier, <laughs> a lot more shinier. That is, you can really see when a movie is using a lot of CGI because it gets a clearer picture and it is a little a bit shinier, or it maybe can be a little bit about the resolution, but anyway. Uh, but the effects in 2015 isn't that bad, but sometimes it just is really bad. So, in this, when it comes to packed effects and everything in the 2005 one, they are good and everything, but they aren't that amazing. So, in this topic, it is going to be, going to be a tie. Mainly because I don't feel anyone stands out. Uh, the other one has great practical effects that feels good but isn't that revolutionary and the other one has a lot of CGI but some are good, some are really bad but so they equal out each other in my opinion in the end. Topic number three are going to be main villain or villain, Doctor Doom. I feel Doctor Doom in the first movie had more of a reason to basically rage than the one in the 2015 one. Uh, in 2015, he is basically tr trying to stop the humans from taking over his dimension, planet, or whatever it's called. And that is kind of stupid how he basically does, they basically tell that story. In, in the 2005 one, it is more like revenge and more of a take over the world kind of way. So, in my opinion, the win of this topic will be. 2005 one. Mainly because I think the reasoning behind the character are more interesting and more clear than the one in the 2015 one because it feels a little bit more silly in that one. So yeah. And of course, topic number four are going to be main characters. The Fantastic Four. Oh boy. In my opinion, they had great characters in the 2015 one, but the 2005 stands out more because they have more of a personality between them. Uh, they are more fun, they are more interesting, they are more intellectual, in my opinion. In for 2015, they are trying to be more serious than they need to be. And because of that, this, the winner of this topic is going to be 2005. As I said, because they aren't as serious aren't overly serious as they are in 2015 which basically brings the movie dime down. They stand out a little bit more because they are more interesting, more fun and more intellectual in the end. 
And overall winner are going to be Fantastic Four from 2005. In my opinion, that movie has a better storyline, better main villain, and better main characters. Which basically equals, which basically breaks the other movie a lot. <laughs> uh, everything is more coherent. They are more in interesting to watch, more fun to watch. Uh, the effects and environments could have been a little bit better, but they stands out as much as they need to be. So, in my opinion, that is why the Fantastic Four from 2005 is the winner of this. Uh, video. And that was all for today folks. Hope to the next time. Bye.